<sighs> How do I start this? Welcome to Cooking with Depression. This is a potato, just gonna cut it up for a while. Little tiny crispy. God damn it. Little tiny crispy thingies. So, I'm gonna kill some peppers because freckles are with peppers. It's a shit. That's what we're making. Damn it. Today, I'm gonna make a breakfast burrito. Breakfast burrito is gonna include some potatoes, onions, peppers, other long green peppers. I think I already said onions, eggs, milk, and pepper jack cheese. This, I believe, is an Anaheim pepper. Not entirely really sure, I'm just gonna do that. Once you do that, you have the yeah, access to the indoor stemish area. Slowly remove that part. Now, here's when you try to save the seeds because they are naturally spicy. One inch should be enough. Crack it. Put it in your bowl thingy. Eating an egg. Oh. Eggs nicely beaten. So then all your veggies are chopped. Ready to start the next step. So, ready to go. Got your potato, onion, garlic mixture. Slowly, slowly put them in. Now, grab something to stir them with. Let them cook for a while. Stir them occasionally. In the meantime, I'm going to grate some cheese. Cooking with depression. Really, it kind of sucks. Just, I mean, love cooking and everything, but kind of lose the will to do it. Potatoes are starting to get a nice, slightly brownish color. Onions are starting to brown. Garlic starting to brown. It's all turning brown, which is good. Next thing to do is to <sighs> add some paprika to the entire mixture because make it look better. And they should be starting to get a lot browner now, looking better. At this point, start your long burner. Set the correct burner, which is your simmer burner. Low heat. If you think your stuff's getting really, really, really brown and a little bit overdone, just turn the heat down. I know it doesn't look like it's doing much, but it will over time. Wait for the pan to completely heat up. Heat it up on high fast because you're bored. Isn't really even heating up. Alright, let's move the frying stuff off the hotter burner. Move the pan you're trying to heat up onto the hotter burner. Just gotta be patient. That's how time works. Not a lot once. Add in your peppers and garlic mix. Put in a bit of lime juice. Stir it around. At this point, preheat your oven to 350. You'll see why. Now, it needs a bit more salt to the mixture. Salt over the shoulder, because nah, I don't care. Salt's on the floor. Alright, after a few minutes of cooking in the pan, slowly add in the eggs. 
put ground pepper. Now, oven's not preheated yet, but throw your tortilla in there anyway. Now for the fun part, we're gonna move the stuff out of the pan into the bowl of paper towel and put it there for a little bit, that way it dries out. Now, press it down a little bit. First, let the cooking more, that way it's not all soggy. Cook all the way through. Now, every tortilla out of the oven, put it on your plates, do the same pork as you did for something else, and clean it off. Slowly add the potato, onion, garlic mixture. Slowly add the egg and peppers mixture. Throw the cheese on top. If you like cheese, just smother it. Actually, yeah, just smother it in cheese. Just smother with cheese. Smothered by cheese. One of the best deaths ever. Fold it over. It's not quite a burrito because you made too much stuff because, yeah. But it's almost taco ish. Um, if you want, you can add ketchup or. Other stuff, I chose salsa because salsa, why not? Every single meal should include some type of salsa. There you go. Being depressed really sucks and everything. Takes the pleasure out of a, a lot of things, but you gotta find that one thing that you really enjoy and keep doing it and overall just find a reason why you should keep going on day to day thanks this is cooking with depression goodbye